2008 Prius. So just looking at some temperatures and pressures. And if you want to, you could look at the superheat and subcooling. So this vehicle has been sitting idling. It has stabilized now. It has reached minimum temperature. And that's one thing. When you're finished recharging, just don't feel cold and blow it out for the customer, but actually let it run until it achieves its minimum set temperature. When you hear the thermostat, it commands the compressor to kick on and off, on and off as it achieves its minimum called for temperature. And I'm at that point right now, it has reached that. And as you can see, I see guys on forums saying, yeah, I'm getting 24 degrees out my dash, 28 degrees, 30 degrees out my dash. And they're either using uncalibrated or they're using thermal uh, cameras, infrared cameras and pointing it down the dash and it distorts the lens and gives a false colder reading than it actually is. But if it was that cold, and especially when these guys are like in Florida or Louisiana or any of the grass plains where there's high humidity, 60, 70, 80% humidity, the one thing you will see, and proof is in the pudding, you will always get a cold, your glass will start getting cold on your uh, windows when you get it that cold. And that's the difference when uh, on the forms, when they say they got it cool, why don't you post some pictures of how cool you get it. On um, this one here, so it's a mild day and an important thing too is uh today's a mild day here so we are at let's see where we're at um right now in san francisco partially cloudy 66 degrees 68 percent humidity so these are the running conditions right now as it stands getting back to the live readings if we come to let's go to the job link open up this connects to your gauges. You could put this on a computer or a uh, PDA, you know, an iPad or something like that. Let's look at our measurements. And uh, we got 42 degrees coming out the dash. And it's been going up and down roughly almost to 41 degrees. Let's see if it gets there or not. So these are the running pressures and sandings in these conditions. It's in the shade, so you don't have a sun load on it, and it's a mild day. So I just want, oh, and another thing, your sight glass should be crystal clear. So when you see a sight glass, there should be no foggy or fuzziness to it. Let's see if I can focus on it. Let's see if we can focus down into the, when you look into the sight glass, that we can't get and I just noticed I don't have my, my uh, camera light on but if you can see down in there it's crystal clear all the way down to the bottom basically that little silver spot in the dead center is where the drill went down and drilled a hole and that's the bottom part of the cone of the convex of uh, the aluminum down at the very bottom shining back up through the lens up through the side glass so it'll be crystal clear that's always a good thing because when sometimes when a compressor has been run for a long time really really hot it'll start burning the oil there'll be uh, powdery metal shavings of aluminum that oxidize and they'll start to coat the inside of the glass I mean you, you clean the outside of the glass but when it's not crystal clear and you can actually see a coating on the inside of the glass that coating came from a contamination, a breakdown of something. And uh, so that sight glass should always be clear. And uh, I don't know if you could pick it up on the camera, but every now and then you can hear that it hit minimum temperature because you can hear the compressor cut off and you can hear it kick back in. All right, guys, I'll see you later. That's it. Just remember, when you do it right and you do it cold, it'll come out like this. See ya.